what's going on guys average tech guy here and today we are back with another review and this time we're going to be looking at sidecar so sidecar is basically going to allow you to do things over here on your ipad and mirror the screen of your macbook so first off what do you need you got to have a macbook that is going to be running mac os catalina or the 10.15 and then you have to have an iPad that is running iPad OS or what is called the iOS 13. Now, you have to also go to the AirPlay interface. So the first thing I'm gonna do is on my MacBook, and this is the 2018 MacBook uh, with the touch bar. This is the 13 inch. I'm going to find my iPad and it is already connected. So I'm gonna disconnect it right now and then I'm going to reconnect it. And I want you to watch the iPad over here. So as we connect it, boom, iPad changes. Now we actually get a touch bar down here and you can actually come up here and look at your settings. So you can either have the built-in mirror display you can use as a total separate display like I'm doing right here. You can see I'm hooked up to the iPad right here and you can hide that sidebar and you can hide the touch bar down here as well. But for this demonstration, I'm gonna leave all this stuff on and open. If you wanna know how to do it, you just click on that and it hides it, that's it. Now, Sidecar is this secondary display for this Mac. It allows you to interact with your tablet in a whole new way now. You can mirror the display. So it's just gonna change and boom, there we go. Everything that is over on here is now over here. So you see my mouse is right here on both screens. So both screens, you can see the mouse moving around on the screen. If I go back up and I click here and I do use a separate display, this changes back. But now check the mouse out. Mouse is over here on the Mac and I'm going to drag it over here to the second display and now you can see the mouse over here. So anything I wanna do on this screen, I can now click and it works just like so. You also get shortcuts right here along the left hand side. Now you can move this to either the left or the right depending on wherever you want it at and your touch bar is down here. Shortcuts include you have an automatic disconnect, you got a keyboard that will actually pop up on the screen that you can move around you have a back button, works over there on the computer. You got a shift key, you got a control key, you have an option key, and you have a command key. And this up here swaps your dock either from here to back to your computer. Here to back to your computer. So the next thing that we're gonna look at is the integration for the Apple Pencil. So Apple Pencil can be set up if you go right up to the top, you click that, you come here to Sidecar Preferences, and it shows you right here. You can show sidebar, you get these little tools, and you can enable the double click on the Apple Pencil so that you can select different things over here on your iPad. So as you can see, I'm actually mirroring the display right now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on, let's find a picture. And as I double click right here, everything opens up. I'm gonna just find a picture to open. Okay, there we go. Got a picture pulled up right here. It's an aerial view and that one pulled up right behind it. I clicked on two of them. So got a picture right here. Now, the cool thing about it is over here on my iPad, I'm moving this and it's moving. No problems. Let's do this. And now, you know, you get that pesky markup thing that nobody can control with the mouse, right? So now you come here and you can actually sketch on this picture and you see it shows up over on the other screen. So anything you wanna draw, you wanna mark up a picture, you wanna send it, you wanna do anything, you can now do that using your Apple Pencil and it correlates over here to your actual um, MacBook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this out, I'm gonna go out here, and we're going to now open up Safari, and we actually have Google open, let's see, boom. Okay, got the screen looking good. So we're gonna look up Catalina. And And there we go. So I'm using this over here, got the integration. 
you can still use your pencil to come down here. You can access your tool touch bar, everything that you can do over here on your Mac, you can now do over here on your tablet. So there are actually two separate ways that you can connect this. You can either connect it through wirelessly through AirPlay like I have it here, or you can use the Apple cables that came with your original device. You can use USB type C to C, or you can use USB A to lightning adapter. Whichever one floats your boat, whichever one you like the best, you'll be able to use it. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more. This is just my first look, my brief introduction to this new setup, this new sidecar, I think it's going to be really handy for a lot of people that do Photoshop, a lot of people that do drawing and art, and you want to mark stuff up that you couldn't formally. It'll be really good for you to use because you have these new operating systems that are going to allow you to do many, many more things. So like I said, guys, this has been a first look. I'm going to be using this more and more in the coming days. Hopefully this is able to help someone out. Make sure that you have the latest iOS for both of these devices, 10.15 and 13 over here. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.